are an embodied reflection of Source. You are thus infinitely empowered, abundant, and a co-creator with your context always. You are an alchemist. Divination works because the web of life is intelligently organized with coordinated and storied agency. Let's take a look at the stories playing out now. Scorp, welcome to April. So I am going to do this a little bit differently this month. I'm going to do everything together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle. I'm using my Siri deck, my own custom deck that I use for my own purposes again this month. And I'm going to shuffle in quiet. And then I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about your I Ching and the beautiful Sabian symbology that's coming up for this Aries new moon cycle. It's amazing. So join me for a little meditation as we shuffle. And let's see what's coming up for beautiful Scorpios. What I'm doing is tuning into what event, circumstance, or situation is likely to be coming forward for at least the majority of awakening Scorpio-centric people. Let's see what's coming. Scorpio. New Moon Cycle. Scorp. Okay, beauties, let's see what's coming. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull it now, and then I'll talk to you about the symbology that's been coming up and your I Ching. Beautiful. Hmm. Scorp. Okay. So this card came up reverse, but I have to say that came up reverse when I was doing Taurus's uh, spread. Okay. So let's take a look. Beautiful. I have to tell you, I am loving what's coming up for you now. Let's start. So before I talk to you about your uh, I Ching cycle, your energetic cycle for Scorpios that's unfolding over the course of this new moon, let's talk about the Sabian symbol. So as you know, if you've tuned in before, the scopes follow nature's new moon cycles. Okay. So this particular scope is coordinated with the Aries new moon that occurs at 18 degrees Aries on 7 April, on April 7th. Now, the symbology, everyone, that is imbued at that 18 degree point is the magic carpet of Oriental imagery. Amazing symbol. Because if you can feel it, I mean, just saying the words and imagining the magic carpet, you can feel it. But some of the key words and key phrases for this symbology or for this Sabian symbol are freedom, expanded view, broad view, able to see above the fray. I mean, this is about moving on in a state of moving above, evolving above the minutia, and really the ability to see long view and the ability to see above the crap. And it's magic. <laughs> you know, this is about riding a carpet 
and possibilities, potentialities. It's juicy. It's rich. Scorpio, I know you get it because it's gorgeous. I mean, this is such a delicious symbol and we are ready for it. We've hit, you know, we're in the fire monkey year. We're now in spring, at least in the Northern Hemisphere. We've at least moved through the equinox. So those in the Southern Hemisphere are moving into the new delicious fall season. But for those in the North, we're moving into spring. Um, I know uh, for Californians that have been going through a lot of drought and it's been brown, we've had rains and now there's grass. So, you know, there's look for the signs of new growth. And for those in the Southern Hemisphere, where the fall is unfolding, which is interesting because this card shows the burning of leaves, okay? So we'll talk about that in a second. But for those in the Southern Hemisphere, you know, there's such a, an ability to appreciate life as it goes to sleep, as it goes within, as it recalibrates itself for the new growth that's going to come in the next season. So magic carpet this is about magical potentiality it's about getting above it's about flying high baby take you wonder by wonder over sideways and under on a magic carpet ride a whole new world a new fantastic point of view no one to tell us no so that's the Sabian symbol for all of us. So for, for the collective, for all of humanity, we're all storied with the magic carpet over the course of this month. Now, uh, Scorp, you received an amazing I Ching. So when I do the I Ching, I tap into, or when I pull the I Ching, what I'm doing is I'm tapping into the energy what I call the micro cycle for Scorpios. So the, for the collective, it's the Sabian symbology. And for Scorpio, the energy set is also themed with your I Ching. Now, beautiful Scorpio, this month you received number 58, joy. Joy. Now, let's talk about this because... There's something magical unfolding for Scorpios. There's something magical unfolding for a lot of people. Okay, so let's talk about it. So in the spiritual sector, you're getting freedom, the meaning freedom, the word freedom. This is about unbinding, becoming unbound. This is about releasing karmic storylines. This is about not only is the cycle allowing you to break any ties, any threads to kind of karmic patterns that have been toxic or imbalanced or just not healthy, but it's about you also choosing it. It's about you becoming empowered to choose to disconnect from the threads of the story that you now are done with. You're complete. You've done your growth cycle and you're choosing to be released. This is a freedom portal for you over this month. This is Scorpio amazing. I mean, I have to tell you, uh, because I'm a Scorpio son and I have been going through a lot of karmic stuff because I have 12th house activated with some key planets right now. This is huge for me. But this is also huge for all of my clients. Every one of my clients has freedom, act, uh, being bound. There's storylines of being bound, contained, limited, not allowed. So guess what? This month, if you've been feeling that way, this is a time you can access this. But Remember, you're not a victim. You're an empowered co-participant in life. You have to activate your power. Now, at the base, at the foundations of this month, spirituality. This is about you connecting to spirit. This is about you. I mean, this is obviously, this says divination, but this is basically about accessing spirit. This is about meditating. 
This is about contemplating. This is about talking to your higher self. This is not necessarily crystal ball and, you know, I mean, this is a whimsical card, but the meaning of it is actually talking about your communication with spirit. I mean, it's the reason that I made these cards for myself. This is my language to spirit. So for you, you're going to be connecting to your higher self. You're going to be connecting to your the roots, the thick roots of your spiritual realities during this cycle. And because freedom is kind of the spiritual theme at hand, for you to be connecting so deeply and being rooted in a way that's really spiritually grounded, it just fits. It's amazing. Look at this, Scorpio. This month, over the course of the cycle, you are going to be, emo this is in the emotional sector, you are going to be insisting on courage. You are going to be insisting on courage of yourself. This is about you saying, I'm going to step up to the plate. I'm going to do it. I have some fear around relationships. I have some fear around putting my voice out there. I have some fear around you know, doing my artwork, I have whatever it is, whatever your particular storyline is. But guess what? You're going to be in a state of feeling kind of like you decide, like you become resolute. Like I'm ready. I'm ready to stand. I've been through the fire over the last many years and I'm ready to stand in my truth. And it's going to be great. It's going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. You know, so this is, this is gorgeous. I think this is really appropriate. There's something very deeply appropriate about this spread, Scorp. And I'm really, I feel excited for you. Now, again, just really magical because at, in your mental sector, what's happening is at your root, at the foundations of your mind, at the foundations of your thinking, Scorpio. What will happen over the course of this cycle is there will be an emergence. Something will come forward. Strength will come. You're going to have an emergent strength of mind. It's like you're going to be more mm, clear and able to make a decision and also able to stand in your strength. And for you to get both strength and courage is kind of amazing because it means that this month there is a, it's like you've been, well, this is what it is. It's like you have been freed from binds, from contracts and from various, um, energetic like storied engagements that you were continuing to engage with you've somehow at some level your your being has decided to disconnect it's like thank you I've received what I needed to I've grown as I've needed to and I'm done you know but at some level you get it and you are feeling the courage and you're going to insist on that but then you're going to have a strength of mind. So the foundations of your mind, there's going to be an emergence of strength that comes in. That is critical. You know, it's critical for all of us, but for Scorpio to be accessing that strength of mind now in 2016 feels really good. It feels appropriate. So this is the deal. So in the center, kind of the center the central theme or one of the central themes here for this month for you is that I think that you're going to develop a sense of humor. You're going to be able to laugh at the things that have either had to be eliminated or, and this is by the way, relationships, jobs, houses, cars, possessions, money, um, but it's love. It's like areas of love relationship, but also possessions, love and money. So things that have dissipated, gone away, been eliminated from your life in the last year, few years, five years, you know, it's like you're going to be able to access a sense of humor around the things that are no longer in your life, the things that have left, because it might be that because you have this 
strength of mind that's starting to root. And because you're based in a kind of uh, clear spiritual grounding, you're going to be able to see that it had function and purpose, which is the only way life ever works. Nature and cosmos only ever works in benefit to the whole. So you're going to maybe understand this month over the course of this Aries new moon cycle that the things that have left your life needed to be that way. And you're going to be able to take it with a grain of salt and take it a little bit lightly and really, you know, move to a different level with it. And again, we have that the Sabian symbol of the magic carpet. It's flying above. It has the big perspective. Something, my dear Scorpios, are descending. Something is descending and you're able to free yourself of the limited mind. That's what I want to say. I mean, wow, right? So let's take a look. I'm, um, of course, this is uh, Carolyn Mace archetype card and we're going to pull up your main growth edge. What is it that wants to be matured most? within you during the course of this cycle. Scorp, I'm so happy for you. It feels um, juicy. Really, really juicy. Now, for those that want to dive, you know, I have a load of, in fact, I've just increased my services. So for those interested in connecting and working with me one-on-one, -on -one, I, um, I invite you to go to my website, to my service page on thealchemyofholism.com. And you can see the list of my services and there's package deals where you can get discounts and all of that stuff. So I invite you to go there. The link is below the video. So what is the growth edge for Scorpio, the main growth edge for Scorpio in April? Let's see what's coming. Who wants to come for Scorp? Wow, Scorp, lover is coming up. That's beautiful. Lover. So let me read it. Wow. Okay. So what wants to be evolved out of is obsessive passion that harms others and self-destructive devotion. Okay. And it wants to be evolved. So over the course of this April 7th to May 6th time frame, this Aries new moon time frame, what wants to evolve is development of great passion and devotion, an unbridled appreciation of someone or something. So this has to do with you freeing yourself of any false binds and really connecting yourself to your root, to your courage, to your strength of mind, to your lightness of being, dear Scorpio, and really fall in love with life. Fall in love with your deep passions, your deep drivers. Now, yes, this can include another person, but I want to encourage you to actually fall in love with yourself because whenever we fall in love with another, it really, they're reflecting that which we love within ourselves. So I want you to fall in love with yourself over the course of this month. Okay, so let's pull another card for you. And this is, of course... Um, Colette Baron reads wonderful enchanted map cards. Let's see what's coming here. Mm, well, we had several fall out there, so I'm not going to take all of them. Scorp. What is the guidance for Scorpio over the course of this month? for Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Okay, lovelies. Moonlight is coming up, which is kind of an interesting card because you received joy 
for the, um, you know, for the uh, energy set, for the I Ching energy that's underpinning the month. So joy is underpinning the month for you. Now let me pull this up and then I'll show you the card. Because I can't remember what reversed is referring to here. Okay, so this is the card. So this is the guidance for you, Scorpio. Number 51, Moonlight, came up reversed for you. Now the meaning of the card in general is your intuition allows you to see beyond the mundane, logical, and analytical. Follow it. Now before I move on, that's what this is about. Because with the spirituality card coming up in the foundation sector, it means that you are rooting yourself and basing your reality in one that is spiritual, in one that is grounded in the reality of the spiritual. So this is interesting because this card is essentially talking about, you know, disconnecting from the logical or at least balancing back in the spiritual into your reality set and not being overly analytical, in other words. So this is about following your intuition. So when it's reversed, listen to this, too much analyzing is getting you nowhere. Stop overthinking things. You may be exhausted from second guessing yourself all the time and losing your footing. Are you insecure about your ability to make good choices? Step back and regroup and enter into a more trusting relationship with the flow of life. Don't become overly concerned about perceived mistakes. How will you learn to dance if you don't occasionally misstep? On the moonlight pathways, you can discover love and truth and wondrous things. There is nothing to fear but fear itself. Go play, have fun, stay open, and trust. Scorpio, I'm going to read that again because I believe that overthinking, second guessing, and overanalyzing is definitively your greatest growth edge. And this is indeed tying beautifully into everything. Okay. So I'm going to read that again because I really want you to drink this in. Okay. So moonlight. Too much analyzing is getting you nowhere. Stop overthinking things. You may be exhausted from second guessing yourself all the time and losing your footing. Are you insecure about your ability to make good choices? Step back and regroup and enter into a more trusting relationship with the flow of life. Don't become overly concerned about perceived mistakes. How will you learn to dance if you don't occasionally misstep? On the moonlight pathways, you can discover love and truth and wondrous things. There is nothing to fear but fear itself. Go play, have fun, stay open, and trust. Beautiful. I really want you to drink that in because this is going to, this is going to continue to free you. So for those of you that are feeling the freedom, but still have some doubt or threads or ties to storyline, this is going to help you. This is the guidance. So let's take a look at your Dakini Scorpio and see what is the embodiment. So what goddess, what Dakini are you to actually become to ride this wave optimally and with least effort? Let's take a look. This month, Scorpio, you are to become Isis, number 14. I stand between 
the two pillars of night and day, life and death. I honor the elements. They collaborate with me in the great work of regeneration, life out of life. I have the ability to regenerate. I can balance my life. I can recreate myself as whom I want to be. I am a powerful and magical being who regenerates and reintegrates the parts of themselves as a new blueprint.